Our next topic is all about right triangle similarity theorem. Now let's consider uh, the given right triangle, okay? And let's say that the, the vertex is A, and this is our vertex B, and the right angle, which is angle C. And let's say that uh, there is a segment drawn or constructed from the uh, vertex C perpendicular to the hypotenuse, and it, it, it intersects the hypotenuse at point B, right? And uh, let's say that uh, this side is equal to A, which is the opposite uh, side of the angle A, and this side is equal to B, which is the opposite side of the vertex angle B. And also, the hypotenuse is equal to C. And since the hypotenuse is divided into two parts uh, by point B, or the segment D, then let's say that AD is equal to M and BD is equal to N. And let's say this is our altitude, uh, CD, and let's denote this as X, all right? So X is the altitude. And again, X is a segment that is perpendicular to the hypotenuse coming from the vertex angle C, which is 90 degrees. Okay, so we will be uh, using similarity theorems and corollary here to derive the formulas. However, we're not going to derive the formula in this uh, discussion or session, uh, instead, we're just going to uh, determine what the formula is or formulas are, and we're going to apply those formulas later, right? In solving right triangles. So uh, the question there is what would be the formula or what are the formulas that we could uh, find in this given triangle, specifically right triangle? Now, if we're talking about the X, Okay, the altitude x. Now, x could be uh, written or x squared uh, is equal to the product of the segments in the hypotenuse, which is m and n. So x squared is equal to m times n, all right? So again, x squared is equal to the product of the two segments in the uh, hypotenuse. And how about letter b or the side b? Now, b squared, okay, is equal to the closer segment of the hypotenuse times the whole, okay, segment, which is c. Or this is equal to m times m plus n, all right? So this is the segment m and the whole part. So again, b squared is equal to the segment of the hypotenuse closer to b times the whole part of the hypotenuse, okay? And how about the A? A squared, sorry, A squared, let me just erase it. Okay, we change this to A, oops, color yellow. Okay, so A squared is equal to the closer segment, which is n, times the whole part of the hypotenuse, that's m plus n. So it's just like uh, in solving for a segment or the side of the triangle, uh, we have the same pattern of the formula. For example, letter b or the b. So for us to solve for b, uh, square the b and equate it to the product of m, the closer segment in the hypotenuse times the whole, and for the A, uh, square A, and then equate it to the product of the closer segment to the whole part of the hypotenuse, all right? So we could also rewrite this in this form. Since M plus N is equal to C, so this is equal to M times C, and this is also equal to N times C, okay? So uh, whether, uh, Whichever formula you use, then you'll get the same answer, all right? So uh, please remember the formulas that we uh, have or we derived here, okay, uh, in this right triangle because we will be using this later, all right? So again, x squared is equal to mn 
d square is equal to the uh, segment closer to b times the whole, and a square is equal to the segment of the hypotenuse closer to a times the whole. Okay, so let's proceed. Now, in example number one, we have a right triangle where uh, an altitude is drawn from the vertex uh, angle, which is the right angle to the hypotenuse, okay? And here, uh, we want to solve for x. So we, so we need to find the value of x here. Since the uh, x here is the altitude, then it is uh, related to the two segments of the hypotenuse, all right? So if this uh, part is 36 and the whole part is 100, therefore this is, oops, this is equal to 64, okay? So this segment is equal to 64 and this is 36 and you will get 100 here. So therefore, uh, for us to solve for x, that's x squared is equal to 64 times 36. And to solve for x, we need to get the square root on both sides. Oops, sorry. Square root on both sides. So x is equal to the square root of 64 is 8, and the square root of 36 is 6. That's why x is equal to 48, OK? So the altitude of this triangle is 48 units, OK? I hope you got it correctly. And let's proceed to number two. And if you want to answer uh, this problem first, uh, try to pause the video. And once you're done, uh, try to play the video and check whether our answers are the same. All right, and let's solve for x number two. So here, again, uh, there is an altitude drawn from the right angle of the right triangle to the hypotenuse. And we're looking for the value of x, which is the side of the triangle. And the uh, hypotenuse is 25, and the segment closer to x is 9. So our formula is x squared is equal to, again, x, x is a side. So x squared times, or sorry, x squared is equal to the side closer to x, which is nine times the whole, which is 25, right? So 25. Or you could also say nine plus this is 16 because nine plus 16 is 25. Okay, it will just give you the same answer. So for us to solve for x, we need to take the squares on both sides. And we do not consider the negative uh, part or negative square root since we're talking about the measure of the sides of the triangle. So let's take the square root on both factors. The square root of nine is three and the square root of 25 is five. Therefore, X is equal to 15 units. So the side here is equal to 15 units, okay? And if you want to solve for this side, then we can also uh, solve uh, or determine the value of this by using the same pattern of the formula. And I hope we, we got the same uh, answer, right? Okay, and our next problem is this. So we're solving for x again, which is the altitude, and given the hypotenuse, uh, wherein it is divided into two parts with measures seven and nine. And again, uh, for us to solve for the altitude drawn from the right angle uh, right angle, okay? So we have x squared is equal to the product of the two segments is seven and nine. So we need to take the square root on both sides. So we have x is equal to three square root of seven units. So that's how we do the altitude, okay? And number, next number, uh, you may solve this Okay, uh, first before uh, playing the, or yeah, seeing the, the final answer. Okay, so here we will be using the same uh, formula, all right, since we're talking about, uh, I mean, one of the givens is the altitude of the triangle, right triangle specifically. And uh, we know that uh, it is the square of the altitude equals, the product of the segments of the hypotenuse, which is 16 times x, correct? Okay, and since we're solving for x here, 
Now, let's solve for x by dividing both sides by 16. Okay. So, this is 4. This is 3. This is 4. This is 3. So, this is 1. All right. So, 4 and 1. Okay. And x is equal to 9. Okay. So, the, the value of x is equal to 9. Again, uh, before... Uh, don't multiply or expand uh, the expressions or the factors in a given equation because we can uh, simplify them right before multiplying, okay? And avoid uh, making a small numbers bigger by multiplying all of the factors. So instead, just express them as factors like this and uh, do cancellation for, for you to uh, avoid dealing with large numbers, all right? So here, the value of x here is 9, okay? I hope we got the same answer as well. Next, on our problem, here we go. So here, uh, we will be using the same formula, okay? Since we're talking about a side, so 60 square is equal to, side square is equal to the segment closer to the side, okay? Or the segment of the hypotenuse closer to the side, equals 36 times the whole part, which is x. There we go. Okay, so edge over x. There we go. So we have uh, to solve for x. Okay, we don't need to multiply 36, uh, sorry, 60 times 60. So let's just express it as factor of 60 and 36. So this is 10. And this is 6, and I can simplify this by 6 still. So it's 10, and this is 1. So we have x is equal to 100. Or if you want, you can multiply this. That's 3,600 divided by 36. That's 100, right? So we have x is equal to 100 units. Okay? And let's have another one. Okay. So... Uh, we're solving for one of the segments of the hypotenuse given another segment of the hypotenuse and the side. So uh, again, use the side, 50 square root of 3 square, side square is equal to the edge, I mean the segment closer to the side, that's 75 times the whole part, which is 75 plus x. Okay. So in this case, uh, let's simplify the left-hand side of the equation. We have uh, 50 times 50 times 3. I just simplify this uh, left-hand side by expressing it as factors of 50, 50, and 3. Divide by uh, equals 75, 75 plus x. Okay. And let's divide this by 75. Let's not multiply 75 to the terms inside a parenthesis because it will make our numbers bigger again. Again, uh, let's cancel out. And 75 can be factored into, oh, we, we can factor this, we can divide this by three, so that's 25, All right? So this is one and 25 is five, so this becomes 10, this becomes 10. So 5, 1, so that's 10 times 10, that's 100, is equal to 75 plus x. Okay, here we go. And x is equal to 25. Okay, 20, oh, sorry. So let me write it clearly. Okay. And... Okay, so that's x equals 25. So the value of x here is 25 units, okay? Now, some of you might be confused on how I did the cancellation here. Uh, okay, let me redo that, or let me do another way to show that the answer is really 25. So this becomes, uh, what's that? 25 hundreds times three, is equal to 75, 75 plus x, right? And divide by 75, divide by 75, 
75 can be factored out into 25 times three. So I can cancel this out. And 25, so this one is 100 divided by three. This is one. So that's 100 equals 75 plus X. So X is really 25. So we got the correct answer, 25 units, all right? And I hope we got the same answer and everything is clear. So if you have questions, just uh, comment under this video. Thank you.